friends welcome back to my channel hope all of you are doing well today's video is about adobe creative cloud versus photoshop so first i am going to discuss about adobe creative cloud what it is so adobe creative cloud refers to a bundle of more than 20 software applications that creators use to produce visual content for personal or professional use including flyers brochures business cards and infographs books of any length websites and apps photo editing retouching logos color schemes social media graphics and other design elements for a brand videos of any length many types of creators will find these apps in adobe creative cloud valuable including graphic digital designers photographers and filmmakers sound editors and designers animators web designers marketeers desktop publishers according to nlift information technology companies account for the majority of companies using creative cloud followed by companies in marketing and advertising computer software retail construction media production and design Adobe Cloud versus Adobe Creative Suite. Adobe Creative Cloud was called Adobe Creative Suite until 2013 when Adobe updated not only the stacks, branding, and software, but also payment structure, switching from a license to a subscription service. Adobe Content Creator, launch your career in content creation with Adobe Content Creator. Create marketing content using industry best practices and generative AI and earn a credential. Visual design, generative AI, social media content strategies, storyboarding, Adobe Creative Cloud, storytelling, graphic, visual design. How much is Adobe Creative Cloud? As a bundle, Adobe Creative Cloud is available at different price points depending on the plan you subscribe to. Adobe Creative Cloud apps include Acrobat Pro, Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere Pro, InDesign, After Effects, InCopy, Lightroom, Adobe Stock, Dreamweaver, Animate, Substance 3D Collection. The Substance 3D Collection includes the following subset of apps, Modeler, Sampler, Designer, Painter, Stager, Assets. How to decide if Adobe Creative Cloud is right for you? Now that you know the cost and functions of the apps in Adobe Creative Cloud, follow the steps below to decide if these tools are right for you. Number one, review your design goals and needs. Get clear on what you want to achieve as a creator, including the skills you want to master, the projects you want to complete, and the career path you want to consider. That way you can select the apps from Adobe Creative Cloud that can best help you achieve your goals. Draw from those examples, master designs, digital design skills, and launch your own business. Bring life to a personal creative project. Find your dream job in a specific area of digital design. Advance into a dealership leadership role in digital design. Take courses in creative digital or graphic design. Explore with a free trial. Explore alternatives to the Adobe Creative Cloud. Comparing Adobe Clear Cloud with its alternatives and competitors can be powerful final step in this process. In all, Adobe Creative Cloud is by far one of the most popular options for creatives, but it's up to you to decide whether it suits your needs and desires. It offers a versatile suite of applications covering a broad spectrum of creative tasks from video editing to web design and beyond. In contrast, Photoshop is a highly specialized, focusing primarily on photo editing, 
and complex raster graphics work. Adobe Creative Cloud versus Photoshop, an overview. Adobe Creative Cloud and Photoshop stand as prominent choices in digital design and photo editing category, each bringing unique features and advantages tailored to different creative needs. Adobe Creative Cloud is celebrated for its comprehensive suite of applications encompassing a wide range of creative tasks from video editing and graphic design to web development and more. It provides a holistic solution for creatives looking to access a variety of tools under one subscription which includes industry leading software like Illustrator, Premiere Pro, InDesign in addition to Photoshop. On the other hand, Photoshop is renowned for its powerful image manipulation capabilities. As a specialized tool, it focuses on photo editing, complex raster image creation and digital painting. Photoshop is essential for photographers, graphic designers and artists who require advanced capabilities in image correction, composting, compositing and detail pixel view editing. Now let's talk about the advantages of Adobe Creative Cloud. Access to a variety of tools, Creative Cloud provides access to a wide range of Adobe software including Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, Premiere Pro, After Effects and many more. This diversity allows users to choose the right tool for their specific needs. Regular updates and new features, Adobe frequently updates its Creative Cloud apps with new features, improvements and bug fixes. Cloud storage and collaboration. Creative Cloud includes cloud storage options allowing users to store and sync their work across devices. This facilitates collaboration among team members who can work on projects simultaneously and share files easily. Now coming on to integration and compatibility, Adobe software within Creative Cloud is designed to work seamlessly together enabling smooth integration between different applications. This integration streamlines workflows and enhances productivity for users who frequently switch between various tools. Coming on to training and support, Adobe offers extensive resources for learning and support including tutorials, forums and documentation. Disadvantages of Adobe Creative Cloud, subscription model, internet dependency, learning curve, resource intensive, compatibility issues. So this is an extensive video on Adobe Creative Cloud and Photoshop, its differences and what are the advantages and disadvantages of Adobe Creative Cloud and what is Adobe Creative Cloud? Is it really necessary for us to use and uh, how can it be helpful to you? Uh, all of this has been discussed in this particular video and if you happen to be new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So happy viewing, happy watching, happy listening and I sign off. Take care. Bye-bye. Wishing you a lovely day ahead and a wonderful future ahead. Thank you.